first aid air gun. I'm your host Lou and today we're testing the beaming at 50 yards. Now I want to give a huge shout out to Jay Top Shelf and his family for allowing us to go down to the farm and shoot at 50 yards. Unfortunately, me shooting a off a rolled up t-shirt just isn't for, good enough uh, to a review, to be honest with you. I've been selling you guys short and myself short on these air gun reviews. I look at some of the bigger channels. They all have uh, shooting sticks, shooting bags, uh, shooting uh, rests, uh, bipods to assist with their shooting. That's why they do sell those products. Now, the reason why I'm going to be using the shooting rest here is because at 50 yards, I'm just not that good enough of a shooter. And I want to show you the gun's full potential and capabilities at 50 yards, not my shortcomings as a marksman. Now, that being said, I'm only going to use this rest on PCPs at longer ranges. Anything 30 yards and we're in, we're going to stick with a rolled up t-shirt, on, especially with springers because of the recoil. So, that being said, uh, leave some comments below, let me know what you think, but like I said, this is to show the gun's capabilities, not mine as a marksman. Without further ado, let's get this party started. Before we get started on the 50 yard accuracy, I was trying to find the real, real sweet spot of this gun, and it seems to be about 2500 to 1500 bar. Out of 36 shots, shots number 12 through 24 are going to be your most accurate. You'll be averaging about 830 feet per second with a 10.5 grain, producing about 16 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, with a standard deviation of just 17 feet per second. Now, let's go test this out. This was a 3-inch group at 40 yards with a rolled-up t-shirt. Not very good. I'm uh, really trying to give you guys something to see here. So here I went down to uh, another friend of mine's house, and we stretched it out to 40 yards again. Now, I want to preface this saying I am using the rest here, but on the back of my Toyota Corolla, and I didn't realize this till later, uh, it is sloped somewhat, so I was a little bit canted. So, uh, I shot my group here, and let's take a look what happens. Definitely saw an improvement over the rolled up t-shirt, uh, same distance, 12 shot group. This one ended up being 2.2 inches, still almost 2.3, still not spectacular, but uh, getting better, saw some improvement. Uh, we're using Crossman 10.5 grain uh, Ultra Magnums, got two bottle caps. So like I said, still not that great. As you can see by the change in shirt, uh, it's been a couple days I've been making this video over the last week trying to uh, get this right for you guys. Using a rolled up t-shirt at 50 yards, 40, 50 yards, my skills aren't there. So I did get that rest, uh, got to my buddy's house, we sat on the back of my trunk, it was canted a little bit, uh, tried to do my best for you, 2.2 inches at 40 yards. So we did see improvement. Now once we get back down to the farm with Jay and friends, we're going to be on that table with a nice stable table platform with the rest. Uh, now the rest isn't that great; it's got some wiggle to it. I'll just I'll review that in a in a future video, but we should still see an improvement. Here's why: uh, this was the 12 shot group at 40 yards down my other buddy's house, Andy's. Uh, like I said. Uh, 2.2 you've got a fairly good group that's not too bad for me but i want to get to 1.5 inches so uh of course off camera i had one flyer i had one two three four five right here at about 1.5 inches uh but not having it on camera that was at 40 yards not having it on camera doesn't mean jack shit i know uh now this is ridiculous um it was about 2 a.m. I have a light by my back fence there. Uh, I did some stealth shots. 
did five of them one point uh, four inches but four of them were at 0 0.33 I'm not lying to you folks it, it was what I shot I'm not selling you anything I'm not promoting anything I don't get paid by anybody for any of this so I have no reason to lie uh, now I'm going to show you a group that I just shot out of my uh, second story window uh, at about 65 66 yards this was a six shot group I had one major flyer here and then I had one two three four and of course five down here three of them covered up by a dime at 66 yards and the uh, like I said that's at an angle um, but once we get down to the farm and we uh, have a stable platform to shoot off of 40 50 yards we're going to give it a go now we were just using regular old Walmart 10.5 grain Crossman uh, Ultra Magnum pellets so once we uh, get into some RWS uh, H&N and of course JSB pellets we're going to see if we can get some really good performance but for me to have a group that size and I'll show you the pictures here in a minute uh, at 66 yards is great uh, value for now this gun is listed I've seen as low as two hundred and eighty dollars so a good value in my Story opinion window stealth shots we're going to be putting the target out there and I'm going to be shooting from the second story window I'm only going to get five shots because of my somewhat urban environment and neighbors target. Gonna be shooting out of that second story window. It's about 66 yards, roughly. It's gonna be a minute before I get up here. I knew this first shot right here was a flyer because it was high. I already knew it was hitting low. So uh, I only got these uh, five more shots, that's six shots all together, on film. Uh, wasn't able to film in the bedroom. I thought I hit the record button and I did not. that one hit uh, right at the corner of the T in the first hard to see and this last one hits right above the uh, tape this is one of the groups shot off camera at 40 yards uh, 1.5 inches overall did have two flyers Three out of five covered up by a bottle cap. Might have been able to get a uh, quarter on there. I didn't have any change on me. And this one here is at 66 yards. This one here, Insano Group, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, 1.5 inches. Four of them under a dime. Uh, I was trying to replicate that, but haven't been able to do that again so far. So using the 10.5 grain Crossman's. And this is the group we just shot out the window here. I wasn't able to film myself. I apologize. Uh, 1.5 inches overall. 66 yards. Shooting from a second story window. 3 out of 5 covered by a dime. I'm not shooter 1721, but that's pretty darn good for me. Well, that's all I got for you so far. The Beeman is definitely showing potential. I uh, saw improvement uh, throughout the week uh, with different shooting styles and techniques and uh, getting uh, the shooting rest definitely helped. Now, that shooting rest has got some wiggle to it. I'm going to see if I can get that a little more secure before we head back down to the farm with Jay. Uh, we are going to test some RWS pellets. We're going to test H&N pellets. We're also going to test JSB. I also have some Nielsen Specialty Ammo at 12.5 grain and last but not least I have 10 grain Griffin ammo slugs that we are going to test on a more stable platform and a flatter trajectory so hopefully I can come up uh, uh, a little better than I did this week but uh, that's what I got for you so far we'll be back stay tuned everybody stay safe and I'll catch you all next time